Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey. And no, y'all know I've been trying not to make any videos for a little while because I've been sick and I did not want to sound like your boy Zach where he cough every other damn second in his video because it's been hectic, y'all. So I hasn't really been able to review things that I wanted to review because I've been in the bed um, drinking a lot of soup or whatever, but kind of had to come back to work or whatever. But I had to talk about that Superman reveal suit because ain't no way in hell y'all serious with me. Get out of here. Topping Henry Cavill suit. Stop playing with me. This ain't topping nothing Zach doing at all. Like he is sitting there suiting up while there's a laser beam eye going on in the background. Like that's terrible. Why is he not at least standing up like pulling off his shirt? Showing a Superman signal or something. Like, this looks terrible. And he doesn't even look like he can fit in the suit. The suit is literally the Arrowverse suit from the Supergirl um, show. The New 52 suit and the post-crisis Superman suit all merged together. What are we doing right now? This looks sloppy and cheap. I'm sorry. That's the suit reveal? When... Zack Snyder did that. He had like a cool Alex Ross image of the character. Then he did a one where, you know, Superman got knocked into the bank and he stood up and you can see the suit in action. And it was very form fitting around Henry Cavill. This looks terrible. I'm sorry. No, you're not going to sit up here and try to convince me. This is amazing. This movie's going to be amazing. Superman Legacy. I'm going I'm to call it Legacy because it looks legacy stupid. This has got to be one of the worst reveals I've ever seen for a Superman suit. Like, come on now, Brendan Roth had a better reveal for a suit. You know what I'm saying? And then even um, Tyler Hoechlin, when they did Superman and Lois, did his new suit looks better than this crap. And why does the shield look like paper on him? It's the same problem I have with the um, shield... Um, in Superman and Lois is that they make the shield look like mesh instead of like an actual symbol. Like I want this, the S to be, you know, something great, something that looks good and meaningful. This doesn't look good or meaningful. What the hell do you want me to do with this shit? This shit looks terrible. Like, come on now. I, I just have to laugh about this because what am I looking at? This is slop on slop. And then what's up with the over-designed lines? It it looks like it's a reject of Star-Lord and Captain Marvel suit. And then they, they converted it to a Superman costume. That's exactly what it looks like. And he, he's nonchalant about anything. He's not worried about anything. The Photoshop in the back is just sloppy as hell. Like, come on now, you could have get you could have got AI to design it. Hell, I seen some artists on Instagram who actually did better versions reveals of David Corn Sweat as Superman without the official suit. Like this looks terrible. Like you couldn't even mimic Kingdom Come Superman. The, the what what's what, what's with the shoulder pad? Um, it looks like he's not fitted for the suit. Because Corn Sweat doesn't have the muscle mass that um, Henry Cavill did for Man of Steel because he's diet Henry Cavill. Oh, and by the way, you know, happy related birthday to Henry Cavill, who turned 41. Um, one of the best Supermans that we'll ever get on the big screen. And it's kind of funny, you know, how people say, oh, we want something different. We want something tried and true. But then you never let nobody try anything different, right? Um... And it seems like this not, it doesn't feel like it's trying anything new. It feels like it's trying to please people. Because I also know it looks like the cape it has a little bit of All-Star Superman. Which y'all already know how I feel about All-Star Superman. I think it's such an overrated um, Superman story. The movie was alright, but the book, mm, not really. Um, I understand, you know, we want to do something new or different. But as a person who was invested in Henry Cavill Superman and not to see his journey gets, get an ending or whatever and always hearing about how Christopher Reeve Superman was so good but yet Superman 3 and 4 was hot trash. You know what I'm saying? It is so weird, you know? Um, I don't get how, you know, 
we didn't allow Henry Cavill to have Man of Steel 2 or Man of Steel 3 and the Justice League movies, but we're letting James Gunn do the Superman movie. That's just a hot mess. Because look at it. It looks like it's fan film. And don't get me wrong. I'm not going to... I'm not standing up here saying that there aren't fan films who can't do it. But remember, this has a $100 million budget behind it. I, don't, I mean, it's probably more than that. But still, I'm just not impressed with what I'm seeing. And then you got the fact that you have so many characters coming in. You know what I mean? There's so many people coming in right now. It just doesn't make logical sense. Um, I just don't understand what's happening here. This just doesn't really look all that impressive for a Superman movie. Um, and people are trying to convince me like this is going to be amazing. But I don't know. It looks like it's going to be goofy. And then when people were complaining about BVS being too much. But then you got Justice League International. You got the authorities. And you got Supergirl coming in there. Now somebody is doing too much. And that's James Gunn. Like, y'all can't have it both ways. The hypocrisy of it all is just not even cute anymore. This movie looks terrible. I don't like what I'm seeing, but this suit looks just too sloppy for words. And y'all know I had to get on here right quick and talk about it right quick. The suit looks terrible. This isn't a good thing. Bring back Zack Snyder or bring back somebody who can actually tell a good Superman story because this ain't what it is. Like, what a terrible reveal. But yeah, those are my thoughts. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you guys like the Superman look? Um, are you guys excited for Superman Legacy? I'm not. I'm just going to be honest. This looked like the most uninteresting Superman thing I've ever seen. But it is what it is. Tell me what you guys think in the comments section below. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. Mm -hmm.